husband started curating shows a couple of years ago. I've noticed that some people do have an artistic background, but they have not been in a show. So they don't consider themselves an artist, right? They just do it for fun. And I kind of want to get people out of their comfort zone and, and you know, there's no title behind that name. Just come and show your work. So Glow in the Dark, this is how it began in my mind. I'm watching a family movie with them and they're like, can you turn off the light? Why does it have to be so bright? I wanted to be able to crochet at night that I don't have to worry about those lights flashing or and I was already obsessed with the glow in the dark already with the glow in the dark nail polish, glow in the dark hook, glow in the dark yarn. I was just like, how cool it would be if I did the whole exhibition glow in the dark. I have a few pieces of uh, fashionable streetwear that I'm gonna have in, ex in the exhibition. Uh, this is a year in the making. The exhibition is called Raices e Herencia, in English is Roots and Heritage. It's a, it's a womb that I keep on picking and I can't let it go because I was so passionate about it. I have no time to be in my feelings, so I just have to do it sad. I have to do it scared. I have to do it. It has to be done. It's already out. I'm not canceling. <laughs> The show will go on. I just keep going. I like to tell a story with the art, so I have it. I'm responsible for it, so I don't. Because if I gave the artist a responsibility, the other artist doesn't know what the artist is making. I see everything. I color coordinate, um, I make sure the story's <laughs> being told correctly and in a flow. There is challenges on um, installation part because of the space. It's a lot of lovely light and usually galleries have to have lighting. So it would be a beautiful place to host the gallery. And this time, I don't want light. I want it to be dark. And I want it to be glowing. But I needed something to block off the light. And I'm going to be making an entire curtain. Okay. I hang up, I create, and let it go. executed beautifully. I was really worried about the weather. I literally was in my dressing room and putting on makeup and in tears like, oh my God, this is not gonna work out. And you know, surprise, surprise, and people came and they showed up and supported. just be able to make this type of art a fine art people appreciate it just like they would do it at a museum or you know this is my dream and I'm living it and even though I might not be at the metropolitan yet one day I will be